Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today we will see how to create Microsoft SQL Server RDS in AWS. We will see about Amazon Relational Database Service. We will create and manage Microsoft SQL Database Instant and connect it using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So first let's see the prerequisites. First, you should have an AWS account. Then you should have better basic knowledge of AWS services. So our first step is create Microsoft SQL Server RDS instance. So first, go to the AWS Management Console and in the search bar, search for RDS. Select RDS, which is Relational Database Service. Scroll down, click on Create Database. Here we will select the standard create as a database creation method. Then select Microsoft SQL Server as an engine option. Hit Amazon RDS as it is as a database management type then in edition select sql server standard edition keep license and engine version default select dev and test templates then in settings configuration give the db instance identifier a unique name like my service then in credential settings you can give the master username here i am keeping it as it is like admin then click on self manage to create your own password Give your own password. Here in the instance configuration, select bus table classes. Keep it default. Then in storage, select the general purpose as a storage type. Keep the allocated storage default. Then disable the storage auto scaling option. After enabling it, we'll increase the storage when certain limit exceeded, but we don't need it for this tutorial so just disable it then in the connectivity so we are not connecting it to any ec2 instance so select or keep the option as don't connect to any ec2 compute resource keep the vpc and subnet group default then select yes option to give the public access with this the other resources outside of the vpc can connect to your database now let's select the option create new to create a vpc security group give the name to your vpc then keep the availability zone no preference keep the database fold 
as one for three three as it is. Do not enable the Microsoft SQL Server Windows authentication for this tutorial. Then in the monitoring, turn off the performance insights. Because if you enable it, you will receive the advanced database performance monitoring features. Then keep the enhanced monitoring enabled. It will give you metrics in real time or operating system on which your database instance is running. And click on additional configuration. Keep the database options such as DB parameter group, option group, time zone, default. Keep backup as enable automated backups. Scroll down. We will enable the auto minor version upgrade option. Pause while option is enabled. You can you will receive the automatic updates. Then do not select the enable deletion protection. Keep it as it is. If you enable, you cannot delete the database. Now click on create database. Now database is creating. It may take some time. So I'll pause the video. Now our RDS database is successfully created and it's available. So our next step is download a SQL client and connect to the Microsoft SQL Server database. So for that, we will download the SQL Server Management Studio. So search for it in your browser download sql server management studio scroll down and download the latest version keep the track of it So now our SSMS is set up downloaded. So let's install it. So go to the downloads and install it. After installing it, go to the directory where it's installed and run the DTHL application. Now here in the server name, we are going to give the endpoint of our RDS instance as a server name. So let's go back to our RDS instance. In the connectivity and security, you can see the endpoint. So just copy it and paste it in the server name. Then give comma, and we are also going to give the port number. Let's see. In authentication, select the SQL Server authentication. So admin is our master username. 
given the password, which we have set while printing the address instant. Click on connect. So now our SQL server is connected. We are connected to our database. Connection to Microsoft SQL Server database, which we hosted on Amazon RDS. Here you can create table, insert data, or even run the queries. So today we have learned how to create an Amazon RDS instance. We have created a Microsoft SQL instance, then connected it to database using SQL Server Management Studio. And this tutorial underscores the platform ability to simplify database administration tasks, which helps users to concentrate on their core applications. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you.